Greetings friends around the world, this is Bible News Prophecy Program, my name is Alexander Sasevedich and welcome, I'm your host. The Iranian response will come, will be in short, that we can deduce from, from Israel 365 News, which posted the Iranian response will come, posted an article by that title on February 7th of this year. On January 13, 2023, Israeli drones allegedly attacked Iranian convoys carrying advanced weapons from Iran to Syria. Drones of the Israeli Air Force have attacked convoys three times in recent days and destroyed trucks carrying advanced weapons. Eleven were killed in the attacks. At the same time, the Israeli Mossad allegedly attacked a military complex in the center of the city of Isfahan, where the production and research of missiles and drones are carried out. Now, Iran, Iranian sources say that Iran's response to the Israeli attacks is only a matter of time. Is Iran has patience, and every Israeli attack is recorded on the Iranian in the Iranian ledger. In the past two years, Iran has strengthened its air defense systems following Israel, Israel's attacks on the facilities on Karai and Kerman Shah and moved some of its military factories to protected buildings. It is believed that Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei has already ordered the Revolutionary Guard to prepare the Iranian response to the Israeli attacks and that the preparations are underway and will take some time. Yes, dear friends, an Iranian response will come, is prophesied in the Bible. The Bible shows that God will allow what looks to be an Iranian-Syrian confederation to strike the nation of Israel. You may wonder, where is it written? Where is it written? Well, it's written in Isaiah chapter 22, verse 1 through 14. In that section of the Bible, you'll find Elam. Elam is a reference to at least some in Iran. And um, what we know is that Iranians comprise nearly 70% of the country Iranians, although Islamic, are totally distinct from the neighboring Arab peoples of the Middle East. They are a mixed people of the remnants of Media and Elam and other ancestors of Semitic and Hamitic stock, indeed. That's what we know from their history and their ethnic composition. Now, the Bible tells that after tiglath pileser king of Assyria, took over Damascus, he moved Syrians to Kir, 2 Kings chapter 16, verse 9 and 10. God's word has the expression the Syrians from Kir in Amos chapter 9 verse 7, which is basically confirmation that Kir of Isaiah 22 would include Syrians. The Bible also tells of a time when Kir will be destroyed in Isaiah 15 verse 1, and also says that Syria's capital Damascus will be destroyed in Isaiah 17 verse 1. While this does not mean that Kir must or must only be a reference to Syria, the fact that Syria is an ally of Iran is very interesting indeed. Now, in Isaiah chapter 22, verse 8, Judah is a reference to those in the land commonly called Israel, so God will allow Israel to be attacked. And in Isaiah 22, 9, consider that the damage to the city of David is a reference to at least part of Jerusalem, and notice that the damage will be great. This, in turn, would expect, be expected to result in a massive Israeli, possibly with U.S. involvement, attack against Iran and its allies like Syria. The fulfillment of Isaiah 22, verse 6 to 8, could lead to the prophesied peace deal of Daniel 9, verse 26 and 27, and the countdown to the start of the Great Tribulation. Friends, the countdown to the start of the Great Tribulation, and we have it clearly outlined in the Bible, which means he's getting closer and closer because Iran will respond. Iran will react to Israeli's provocations and provocative and uh, Israeli provocative attacks. Now, European Union foreign policy chief Joseph Borrell has been brokering the nuclear negotiations involving Iran and said that he thinks the deal is in danger. Iran blames the United States, whereas the United States says that they are not delaying it. Israeli sources stated that Israel will stop Iran from getting a nuclear bomb. John Biden says that USA would use its own military power to prevent Iran from getting such a bomb if need be. In 2021, Iranian lawmakers have submitted a bill seeking that government, the government by law to commit to Israel's destruction by the year 2040. Does the, sec the 22nd chapter of Isaiah point to damage coming to Israel from Iran and possibly Syria? 
Might Iran be concerned enough about limiting progress with the USA to launch some type of attack? Is Iran the prophesied king of the south? Is it reasonable to think that the prophesied peace deal of Daniel 9.27 will not happen until after a military conflict? Well, like original war, should Christians watch the Middle East? Yes, yes, indeed, yes, yes, the answer is yes. We are in a time of wars and rumors of wars, as Jesus foretold in Matthew 24, verse 4 through 8. And in fact, what we can see and understand is that the more desperate Iran becomes, the more likely it will take bold military actions. Watch! In the Gospel of Mark, chapter 13, verse 37, Jesus Christ told us to watch and pray always to be accounted worthy to escape all those horrible things that are about to pass. Now, of course, on our uh, www.biblenewsprophecy.net, you can find more and in-depth analysis about some of these world trends, and you can find, for example, the information about Iran in prophecy. Is Iran in Bible prophecy? And if so, what does the Bible teach? What names other than Persia may be used to describe Iran? Also, there is a YouTube video titled Iran in Prophecy. Then there is information about the Iran and Israel conflict, about Jerusalem, past, present and future, which informs us of what does the Bible say about Jerusalem and its future? Is Jerusalem going to be divided and eliminated? Is Jesus returning to the area of Jerusalem? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, the answer is to all of these questions, and you have Programs such as Jerusalem to be divided and eliminated, God's and Satan's plan for Jerusalem. When will the Great Tribulation begin? 2023, 2024, 2025. Can the Great Tribulation begin today? What happens before the Great Tribulation in the beginning of sorrows? What happens in the Great Tribulation in the day of the Lord? Is this the time of the Gentiles? When is the earliest that the Great Tribulation can begin? What is the day of the Lord? Who are the 144,000? Well, and you have also some information related to all of that, uh, and related to all of it in Spanish language. Then we have this program, as well as there is a book on Biden Harris administration, Prophecies and Destruction. In other words, the question is, can the United States of America survive two full presidential terms? It's a very relevant and very, very poignant question indeed. In what ways are Joseph Biden and Kamala Harris apocalyptic? Well, so the book Biden Harris Prophecies and Destruction, which is available online, that book has hundreds of prophecies and scriptures to provide details. A Kindle version is also available, and you do not need actually an actual Kindle device to read it. Why? Well, because Amazon will allow you to download it almost to almost any device. So, friends, is there, in other words, a kind of war, regional war, that will happen in the Middle East. The whole world, for about two or three centuries, has been has been shivering at the thought of any conflict in the Middle East, believing that all three religions that are involved there, indeed, would mean that at one point, all the world powers might get involved, because Russia is a traditional Iranian ally, United States is traditional uh, friends to the state of Israel. And plus the three religions are involved, so Islam, Christianity, and, and Judaism. And therefore there was always this fear that any kind of conflict in the Middle East might bring an end to the world as we know it. However, the Bible says it will not be the end of the world as we know it, because before all of that, First, what needs to happen is that the European Union is going to send its envoy to the warring sides. And the envoy that the Europeans send will be of German origin, and he is going to broker the peace between Syria, Iran, and Israel. And that's, the call, that's what we call the peace deal of Daniel chapter 9. In that peace of Daniel chapter 9, the peace will be brokered for seven years. But as it says in the prophecy, in the middle of that peace deal, the very... One peacemaker is going to start his own military maneuvers. He's going to first take the city of Jerusalem and, of course, conquer the state of Israel. 
under the pretext of bringing peace between Muslims and Jews, then he will attack the United States of America and the United Kingdom, which means the beginning of the Great Tribulation. All the Anglo-Saxon world will be attacked, including Australia, New Zealand, and Canada. Once he has done that, then the prophecy moves on and speaks how the Arabs will not be happy with him, so he is going to conquer the Arabian world and the Middle East completely. Then, in the same time, the Great Tribulation will be opening of the Sixth Seal of Revelation, which means the persecution of the true people of God, of those who are lukewarm Christians, the persecution of Laodiceans, or the Laodicean Church of God. Please do not despise the Laodicean Church of God. It's still the Church of God. And then finally, you'll hear some voices from East, and he will attack Russia, and that will be his, the beast's grave mistake. Because that never worked in the past. Napoleon did it. Hitler did it. And this final European dictator will do it. So in the counterattack, Russia and the its Asiatic allies like China and all that Asiatic bloc are going in the counterattack to make a devastating blow to all of the European states. Or at least to those European states who are aligned in that kind of bestial coalition. The army that's going to come is described in the book of Revelation as 200 million, and that army is described also in the, in the gospel, in the, so in the book of Joel, chapter 2. Friends, you need to know these things, because they're soon coming. You need to be warned about it so that you would know, and that some of you at least might repent while there is still time. You may wonder, who might be this coming European beast? Well, from all the qualifications we have seen of various politicians of the German origin, the one we can guess with his international experience, with his former involvement with Iran and Israel, and with his expertise in various areas, the one that we can expect to be would be perhaps now a bit obscure figure, but uh, still well known from the past German politics former successor of Angela Merkel, his name is Karl Theodor zu Gutenberg, popularly called KT. Now, he is one possibility. There are other possibilities as well. But one thing is sure. Whoever will be sent by the European Union to the Middle East to broker the peace and negotiate the peace deal of Daniel chapter 9, that person will be celebrated as the savior of the world and that person will be the European dictator described in the book of Revelation 13 as the beast. He will be the one. And from then on, from the peace deal on, we can be doing the countdown to the Great Tribulation because in the middle of the peace deal he's going to broker it. So after three and a half years he's going to break the peace deal and then he will move forward to the state of Israel to conquer the state of Israel. Friends, Horrible times, but yet those times leading to Christ's return are ahead of us. You need to be warned. You need to be aware. Thank you for your attention. Until next time, goodbye, friends.